Hello YouTube! I'm Nye from the Finale Guitar Shop in Sheffield and you're watching my channel Folk Friend, your one-stop shop for Celtic guitar. Many years ago I made a video about how to play along with jigs. I did it when I had a lot more hair and I've left the video up as a memento to the much hair that I have lost in the previous couple of years. But I decided it was high time, given that that is the most watched video on my channel, that I made an updated version in which we do a slightly snappier run through of the same thing. So in today's video I'm going to show you two main ways that you can choose to strum along with jigs. Some people like one, some people like the other. Pick the one that you find most comfortable and practice it till you get good at it. Before we start looking at this pattern, just a few general tips for the complete beginner on strumming. The first thing is, you want to move your whole arm from the elbow down, you want your elbow hooked nicely over the curve of your guitar like that. Get your guitar in a comfortable position, I like to balance mine on my right leg. What you want to do then is move from the elbow all the way to the end of your arm. Uh, try and keep the movement nice and smooth, not jerky like a robot. Um, and my old fiddle teacher used to tell me that you wanted your hands to be like the bristles of a paintbrush and that's very much true for guitarists as well. So you want a nice smooth supple wrist like that when you're strumming. The other thing that's really really important is tap your feet. If you've got your right leg under your guitar and you tap that foot as you play that's going to keep your whole body in rhythm. This is really really important and really useful get used to tapping your foot while you play you won't be able to go out of time with your strumming if you're tapping your foot it's literally impossible so get used to practicing with the foot taps it'll make your life a lot easier in the long run the first method is what i call the diddly diddly pattern down up down down up down and this is the kind of more standard pattern that you see the majority of irish players using a jig is a tune in six eight it's a compound time signature, which means that the rhythm is in blocks of three rather than blocks of four, as most more common rhythms are. And so you get two blocks of three quavers in each bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that gives the jig a very recognisable quality. They go diddly, 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 or da da diddly, da da diddly, da da diddly, da da diddly. So, what you want to do to make your kind of traditional jig strumming pattern is to think about the diddlies. The first diddly, one, two, three, is going to be down, up, down, and then the second diddly, four, five, six, is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to show you these on a G chord because it's a nice easy chord to practice with because you can play all the strings. And we're going to go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, da, da, da. really very simple. If you want to make it more rhythmic and add a kind of little rhythmic variation now and again, then you can reflect the da da diddly da da diddly, which is a very common um, melodic rhythm pattern if you like in uh, Irish and Scottish music. And the way that you do that is you miss out quaver number two. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to go one, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, Six, one, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six. So that is down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. If you are getting good at that and you want to uh, make an interesting combination of the two, you can do something like just do down, 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 up, down for the first bar, and then do down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down for the next three bars. Or something like that. You can mix and match the two and you'll get some really nice interesting rhythm combos. The other pattern that I want to tell you about is actually my preferred jig strumming pattern which I call da da diddly aka down down up down up. Now if you think about the first pattern you've got down up down down up down and what you're doing there really is down up down and then a super fast upstroke to be back at the top in time for the next down, down, up, down, <gasps> down, up, down, like that. When you're playing really fast, it can be quite hard to get that hand back up in time to do two downs in a row. And that's why I personally prefer this pattern, which is a lot more energy efficient. 
So for this pattern, you're going to change direction on every single one of the quavers and never do anything different than that. So your pattern is basically down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you're going to do to make it sound like a jig is miss out the second quaver. So down, down, up, down, up. One, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, down, up. Like that. And when you're doing this one, you want to really focus on accentuating the first down and the up. So down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. So I'll show you that on a G chord. It sounds something like this. One, two, three, and. Down, down, up, down. my complete beginner's guide to the two main jig patterns. There is another top secret jig pattern which is my own invention and sounds like this. So if you're feeling confident with one of those two patterns and you'd like to have a go at my top secret upside down jig strumming pattern with the little palm mute thing going on on the off beats, then I've made a video about how you can learn that. It's in the corner of the screen right now. Go and check it out. If you could do me a favour, hit the little thumbs up down there, leave me a comment and let me know who you are, where you're playing and anything else you'd like to see more videos about. And also, while you're there, why not hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. I release a free Celtic guitar video every weekend and you will get those straight to your inbox if you hit the subscribe and the bell. So thanks very much for watching. Check out Backing Guitar Techniques for Traditional Celtic Music, my book, which is linked in just a second. Or check out my other videos for loads more tips and I will see you all very, very soon for more videos.